in Japan, particularly for Elvis Stoiko, second after the short program. Stoiko, strength, power, athleticism, jumps, but he needs to put it all together or else the package just does not come across. His opening warm-up, a nice clean triple flip just to get his feet under him. Completely confident and relaxed. Coming up, one of the few men in the world that even attempts this jump in competition, the quadruple toe loop. Oh, and a slight touchdown, but still, it really looks like a solid jump for him. And you're right, he's the only man in the world who's consistently trying to do it. It takes a lot of guts. Yes, it does. to a butterfly. He has so much strength in his lower back, actually leaning on the landing, but he's so strong he can pull it off. Really, Elvis is, is known for his athleticism more than anything else. He's such a powerful jumper, and his jumps are so clean. conservatively but not here a triple axle triple toe loop double toe loop Elvis Stoiko with so much to prove last year fifth at the world championships he had to withdraw from an international competition in France earlier he wants to prove to everyone that he's back. shape he's still going strong triple lutz very late in the program boy the conditioning looks like it's there in Paris, where he had to withdraw, he was in great shape. He was skating so well, it was really too bad that he was sick and not able to perform. And he still looks like he's in great shape. Wow. Well, 
I haven't seen Elvis Stoiko show up at many competitions out of shape, and he's just proven to everyone that he means business again. And Peter, we first saw Elvis do his quad last year in the finals, and then he seemed so surprised that he landed it, he lost concentration for the rest of his program. No such problem for him here, and his scores were enough to give him a win in Japan, with Ely Kulik taking second. And when we come back,